Yo, Matt Attackers, today's question of the day comes in from Joseph. And he says, when it comes to modeling, do you do nude photography? And what is my opinion on it? Am I for or against it? All right, so I just want to start by saying a big thank you for sending this in. I know a few people have messaged me on Instagram direct about this. Those who are wanting to get into modeling as well as just like observers of the fashion industry. So it's a good question. Um, you've asked a few little sub questions. So I'm going to kind of like break it down that way. One, have I ever done nude photography? Not full nude, I've done partial. and then. Two to what is my opinion on it? Well, I think look here, it's like anything else. If you are gonna be doing something, especially when it involves like nudity or anything like that, I'm all for it. I think it's fine, I think it's beautiful. If shot properly and tastefully, it can be it can be an art form, like it can be truly, truly picturesque, but I also think because of the nature of what it is, it sits on a line that it's either artistic or it can be come across as like pornographic or just too explicit so i think it needs to be done tastefully but personally i'm all for it if you want to shoot nude photography if you want to get into nude art i'm not going to stand in your way and i don't think anybody else should um that being said you do need to be careful whether you're just a normal person or whether you are a model who is in this industry to not be taken advantage of because there are unfortunately and this is just a fact there are model there are photographers out there who they who they will try and take advantage, especially if you're younger. Um, and this doesn't only just exist with girls, it can happen with uh, guys as well, with, uh, like it, it happens everywhere. Like, and that's what I think is important, and I'm glad you asked this, is just to be smart about it. Don't just simply, if you're, and I'm gonna speak specifically to the models who are just starting out, don't just find someone on Instagram who's a good photographer, who does nude photography, and then be like, oh, well, I want to get more followers, so I'm going to go and shoot with him or her. Because what might happen is even though they have a lot of followers, they might not be reputable. So what you should do then is speak to your modeling agency and say, hey, look, I found this photographer. He or she has messaged me. I would like to shoot with them. Do you know their work experience, their work history, uh, that of the photographer? Would it be okay if I did this? Can we create a mood board, which is like a, a series of shots that you will kind of follow throughout the shoot and kind of see the reputability um, and the professionalism of that photographer. And that way you can avoid something like somebody trying to take advantage of you. So and this is a very heavy topic, <laughs> cheap is, but I think it's important to cover. Like you just have to be smart about it. Don't just go um, shooting nude photography with just anyone. I think, I hope that answers it. It's a difficult one. I, I'm all for it. I just think you need to be smart about it and just, speak to the correct people so if you're if you're in a modeling agency you need to speak to your booker you need to speak to your agency and see if they can clear it if they know the person's work ethic for example there's and i'm going to shout him out here uh his name's Prayan moodley i believe he's he's at his at loop loop photo on instagram and he, sh he doesn't always shoot nude stuff some of it's like bikinis and like underwear and stuff and it's 99 percent of the time it's woman and his shots are absolutely beautiful. They are such stunning photographs. And there's not a single model that I've met who shot with him who has ever felt uncomfortable or no negative stories or anything like that because he's a professional photographer who's doing a job and is very, very talented at what he does. So you need to find someone who's not going to try and take advantage of that. So Joseph, I hope that that answers it. It was a heavy one. I'm all for it. I think it's beautiful art form. If you want to do it, that's great. I think that you should approach it in the correct way though um, and make sure that the photographer um, is reputable and isn't going to try any funny business or anything like that. Not that they're going to, but they are a few and you need to protect yourself, whether you're a guy or a girl in this industry. So thank you so much for sending that in. That was a meaty one. Um, yeah, I hope it answers it. And then one final thing, if any of you mad attackers have any questions at all, please comment them down below. Remember, I'm choosing one of these to answer every single day.